get a mic from Aussie Mics Bees once again, but in this non-bee related video. One of my tools of trade that I've recently got is this fibre laser cleaner. Now what's a fibre laser cleaner? Well, <clears throat> it uses laser generated by fibre technology to clean rust from metal or paint or contaminants from engine parts like oil and grease and so on to prepare it for whatever work's going to be done to it. So in this video I'm just going to show you some of the things that this thing can do. It's called the Actec AKQ1000, 1000 watts. You can hear a bit of humming in the background and that's mostly coming from this chiller. So there's a water cooling system because 1000 watts is a lot of power. And in the top here is the fiber laser source. This is a Rakus RFL C1000. Now I've got a Rakus source in my fiber laser engraver, but it's only 30 watts. So it's tiny compared to this thing. In the back of this big box that's on casters so I can move it around, is a massive power supply to drive this thing. So, I mean, I've got a 32 amp, 240 volt outlet there for it. It doesn't use that much power, but that's what I've sourced because I use the same thing for a CNC plasma machine. So, what are some of the things we can do with it? Well, it cleans rust from metal. So, this is just a trowel that's been out in the weather a bit and it's got some rust, so I'll show you what that does. You can remove paint before you're going to be welding. And incidentally, after you've done the weld, you can use it to clean up the oxidization that happens once you've welded. Now, something to keep in mind, this is a powerful laser and you can do some serious damage to your eyes. You could instantly blind yourself if you looked in front of this. So they provide some safety glasses. Now, it's got a green tint to it, but it's specifically set for the wavelength 1064 nanometers to block that so it won't help you if you're staring directly into it for long because it'll it'll fry it it'll melt through but it it will catch those reflected lights so you've really got to wear these things all the time or you'll be in trouble now it's not meant to be harmful to organic uh, tissue uh, but i wouldn't trust it that's still a lot of power and i've got some let me see. These are dead bees I've got here. I didn't kill them for this. They're just naturally dead bees. So I'm going to hit them with a beam and see if it does anything to them. And also we'll see if it does anything to wood. I'm sure it will at high power. So let's get on with it. I've already switched it on at the, at the power at the wall, but I've still got to fire it up. So it's asking me here, to unlock and that's what this little key is for. Bit of a flimsy sort of key but it's what they provide, it seems to do the job. And it says the power's right. So now we're just booting up the system, it's all computer controlled. <clears throat> right, now we're kicked in. And so I press start up. Now at the moment I've got it set for 30% power um, and you put the guide beam on so you can see where it is and that's another light come up here and the sway switch and that sets the beam going from side to side now we've got the gun itself now you've got to remember to take the cap off now you've got to keep this cap on to keep the dust and contaminants away there's a lens in there and you can see there's a, a beam there now I don't want to pull that trigger now I think that might hurt see that beam there. So let's get a set and shoot some metal. This is that rusty trowel. So let's have a go at that. I think that's pretty cool. Nice and clean. It gets a bit warm, so it does generate heat. 
Here's an old plane that I've had sitting around for donkey's years waiting for me to do something with it. Let's see what it does with that. Makes pretty short work of it. Now that's just a real quick scan. A little rub with some Scotch bright and a bit of uh, liquid, I reckon that'd work well. Wow, that's very cool. All right, what else? We've got metal with paint on it. So to prepare it for welding, Let's take the paint off. Normally you'd get on the grinder. And that of course cleans the metal, but it also takes some of the metal away. This process doesn't hurt the metal at all. Now I'd probably just do the ends there to get any surface rust off. And there you go, ready to weld. How cool is that? Here's a bit of sheet metal that's got a coat of paint on it. Let's see how that goes. Completely vaporizes that paint. Back to shiny metal. How good's that? Now just to remind you, I'm only using 30% power here. If it's thick paint and thick rust, just wind the power up. Here you see on my concrete floor, this area is some sort of spill of, could, I, I don't know what it was. It could have been a bit of paint or varnish or something like that. And this is another spill, more have been oils, all sorts of contaminants on the bare concrete. So let's have a look. I've changed the settings to 50% power and a different wobble pattern. Let's see how it goes on this contaminant. How's that? Really cleans that up brilliantly. I'll go over this spilt paint or varnish.
I think that's pretty impressive, don't you? So the potential to clean things there would be, if it works on concrete, it'll work on bricks and so on. So if there's been fire damage and there's soot and all that sort of muck in there that needs to be cleaned, well, compared to using chemicals, which is messy and stinks, this vaporizes all of that soot, the carbon buildup on brick until almost clean, just like the concrete on the floor here. But what else is there? There's one more thing I'd like to show you and I talked about those dead bees before. So these little girls are going to give up their uh, corpses to see what happens when you hit them with the laser. At 50%, same as I just had then. All right, here we go. That's making a jump around. Oh, and completely vaporized. That's one little spot there, nothing else. So that was on concrete, here's on wood. Vaporized. So would I be putting my hand in front of that? No way. And that's wood. And it burns too if I hold it on there long enough. So she's pretty powerful stuff, which leads me to one more thing. I've turned off the wobble, so it's just a straight laser beam now. And the focal point on the lens of this is um, fairly close, about, oh, I can't think offhand, three or four hundred millimetres. So this is piece of wood that I'm shining on at the moment is five metres away. So just see what happens when I hit that. Look at that. Pretty impressive. I've got one more to show you and it's a little bit further behind that, another two meters, so seven meters away. Just so you know I'm not kidding, I'm sitting back here at the camera and I'm zooming in between the shelves on that rack to that bit of laminated hardwood on the other side of the rack. Now that's a good seven meters or more away. You can see my beam. Here we go. Straight away, it's getting smoke going and it even flamed it up there a bit. So this is a pretty serious bit of equipment. So that's it for my demonstration of my new laser. Thanks for joining in. So, you know, these laser machines have been around for a number of years. I think it probably started in Europe. This is a Chinese one, and I know we might not have a great relationship with China at the moment, uh, but it's still a great way to get into the market if you were going to be someone doing this cleaning. It's an alternative to sandblasting, which is very messy. It's an alternative to chemical cleaning with paint strippers and so on. It vaporizes everything. Okay, there's a safety question there. What happens with those vapours? Well, you can release it or fan it away or put it through like a fume extractor that filters it out. That's a good method. But for personal safety, now you didn't see me with it today, but I was clear of that. I have a, a powered um, breathing air, uh, mask with filters and that makes sure that I'm protecting myself and then the fumes can be extracted and through the filter and so on. Now there are smaller machines, even backpack versions of these, that aren't as high a power because you're not going to have power available that this machine has, but you, you saw me on 30%, so that's approximately 300 watts. So you can get two to 300 watt machines that are much, much smaller and can be mobile in a van and that then can be for your project. It could be cleaning engine parts for servicing, and I mean, I've talked about most of it. So use your imagination what you could use this for. 
you can strip an entire car of its old paint and rust and so on for a repaint. That's worth considering compared to the traditional alternatives. So anyway, Mike from Aussie Mike's Bees, thanks for joining me for this non-bee video, except for the three bees that vaporised there, so I've given them a good send-off, but I've got no ashes left to spread. Anyway, thanks for joining me and see you next time.